Hello and welcome to this Dot Frost video on determining the number of revolutions of a wheel across a given distance. Let's read the question. Liam has a bicycle with a wheel diameter of 0.738 centimetres. Remember the diameter of a circle is from one end of the circle to the other. So it's the length of the diameter is the length of the line from one end of the circle to the opposite end. So you can see it labelled here. He rides for 1500 metres Find how many full turns the wheel makes during his ride. And sorry about the uh, really badly drawn wheel, or you can say really badly drawn wheel. And we want to see how many times the wheel spins around as you kind of cycle across 1500 meters. Now we should first find the circumference of the wheel, and I'll explain why in a second. And remember the circumference of a circle is pi multiplied by the diameter of the circle. Remember in algebra when we put things next to each other you times them, so it's pi multiplied by the diameter. We said the distance from one end of the circle to the other was 0.738. And if we do that on our calculator, so shift pi times by 0.738 and that gives you 2.3185 metres. That's enough decimal places for the moment. So let's think about that in terms of like how many times the wheel is going to spin around as we cycle the 1500 metres. Now if I take this plant, which has a circular base, and let me take the plant out for a moment, um, this is uh, circular, so imagine that if I was just to kind of make this thinner, this is just a wheel, and you can see the wheel is rolling like this. Now, can you see that if the, this wheel was to roll one full time, so imagine my finger on this part of the wheel, if the wheel rolls one whole time, and it kind of, my finger comes back up to the top here, it's rolled one whole time, how far has the wheel travelled in that time? Well, you can see, as the wheel rolls around, it's in contact with the paper, uh, with the surface of the road. So as it rolls one full time around, the distance forward it's travelled is one circumference of the circle. Let's put the plant back in. So we just need to work out how many lots of circumference of the wheel goes into 1500 metres, because each time we roll one circumference of the circle, that will be one rotation of the wheel. Now we have to make sure these are consistent units because that's in meters and that's also in meters, which is okay, they're both in meters. So the number of turns is just the number of times 2.3185 goes into 1500, so we just divide them. So it's 1500 divided by 2.3185. If I do that on my calculator, I can do 1500 divided by, and then I can use the answer key to use that previous calculation from up here. And then if I press equals, that gives me 646.97 times. And it's asking for how many full turns. Now, if you think about it, even though this rounds to 647 to the nearest hole, it hasn't actually got as far as a 647th turn. So there's 646 full turns. We have to round down if we only want the number of full turns because a 0.97 of a turn doesn't count as a full turn. And that's the final answer.